stands for Teaching Obedience, Respect, Courage, and Honor. And what it is, it's a 12-week intervention program for children that are anywhere between the ages of 13 and 17 years old, as well as their parents. Most of the kids coming to the TORCH program are either referred to by our, our schools um, or our patrol officers that make contact with the juveniles and their parents during some kind of a radio call. We accept all kids of, of either gender, male or female, from the ages of 13 to 17 years old. As long as they don't turn 18 during the program and they're already 13 when they enter the program, then uh, they could come from anywhere, whether they're from Almani or outside of Almani. We want to reach out so that other kids can have an opportunity for the TORCH program and, and make a change in their, in their behavior and, and their, uh, take responsibility for a lot of their actions. This is a team effort. If you're last, the whole team will run again. Two, one. Back to the fence. Back to the fence. Some of you were half an hour late. You will stay half an hour. Now hurry up, Martinez and then Julio. A torch program is. It, it does involve some physical fitness. However, more importantly, it's a mentorship program. We want these kids to understand that we're there to help them. And more importantly, TORCH also includes the parents of these children because we're there to repair families. We're not there to yell at them and say, listen, you've done wrong. These are all kids. They're not bad kids. They're kids that made bad decisions in their lives. And now we're there to try to show them the right way and show their families and give their families those necessary resources to really help them and have a productive family, not just a child, productive families. Well, initially the program was started just with the kids, but as the program developed or it, uh, it, it went on, we, we discovered that a lot of these kids are having these problems because the parents have no direction either. There's no instruction manual on how to raise a child or a kid with a very strong uh, adolescent behavior. Um, so what we did is we incorporated a parenting class into the program. Uh, in order to help parents understand how to deal with destructive adolescent behavior and avenues of uh, resources that they can reach out for. I was actually looking into finding something that would work, something like boot camp. I was desperate, but when I got the chance to get into this program, I jumped on it. I feel that this program is a great opportunity for us parents that have teenage kids and are not aware of all the free programs that we have. This is one of our free programs that we have and it's working for me so far. It's done a great job. These children will eventually go on to be adults. In many cases, they will have kids. If we don't stop the cycle now, it's gonna be very difficult when they have multiple kids. And that's the problem that many cities have is they don't implement these programs at an early age and yet later on they become bigger problems. Fix the problems while they're small and the big problems take care of themselves. The more they see us, they actually understand that it's not just a job for us, it's also a passion, it's also a, uh, uh, a, a way of us creating a relationship, friendship with them, so they have us as a resource to reach out for when they're thinking about making a bad choice. I simply want to make a, a difference in not only that child, but in that family's life. So if you're having those problems, pressures in life, and it can't seem to get out of this trouble, um, come on out to our program and more importantly bring your parent out there. Many times it's difficult to communicate with your parent um, and it just seems like, hey, they're not understanding me. Vice versa with the parent. Come on out, make that initial investment. Uh, all it takes is time.